So I have to tell him myself. I left my trip early. I planned on going around and taking an extra day to go to the antique malls and stuff after the actual camping, but it was kind of like Firefest. It was a disaster. I don't like camping and I just drove home in the middle of the night, never again. But today I'm gonna put some stuff in the shelves at that booth I rented at Black Rose and then bop around to a couple local spots. Hope everybody had a good 4th of July weekend. in good condition too. Four bucks and 20%, that's really cheap. These usually sell pretty quickly, but I've had them a few times recently. I think I'm gonna keep looking. Ooh, I really like this color. And the glaze, unfortunately, it's really cracked up. Dancers, those are kind of fun. I usually don't see them as a pair. This is Hosef Originals. Super cheap. It's got some condition issues for sure. Definitely uh, shows its age. I feel like I looked at that before. The Italian spaghetti poodle. It's only five dollars, but honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of these. I'm more of a Japan person. Cat mugs. Oh, these are kind of funny. I think I've seen these before. Glass big though. Price is right. I'm just not sure how quickly they'd sell. So I brought a couple things in. It's all in my Etsy shop. It's cross posted. I'm already kind of regretting doing this. I forgot how much work it is. Also, this bookshelf is a lot of space to fill. I'm gonna have to come back with another couple boxes. This booth is one of the reasons why I actually got a booth here because I've been coming here a lot just to check out what they have this planter and it's only seven dollars and fifty cents that's a great price uh, I'm gonna definitely start a pile over here Let's see what else they got this art nuevo portrait I definitely love that it's thirty five dollars though I'm not sure if I'm willing to spend that much uh, I usually buy things like this and they do sell for decent money, but it usually does take a while for it to do so. I like this little tea set. Probably just because it's got the original packaging. That's nice too. But $14 is definitely full-blown retail. Whoa, this is such a find. This is uh, pretty awesome. The TV situation and Especially with the Jesus is its own collectible thing. It's got a couple spots of damage, but for $6, I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, it's pretty hard to find these. One of those cat families on chains. Usually, uh, the paint's completely missing when I find these. It's a pretty good price, but I'm going to keep going. Is this turtle? <laughs> Wow, he's great in his printer. 17, definitely uh, can't do that. What else do they have here? This hobbyist deer. He's kind of sick looking. <laughs> How much is he? <laughs> $10 is probably about what I'd get for this guy after fees. Uh, he's definitely got a really funny expression and deer is super collectible. But this one in particular doesn't have much resale value. Seven. Ooh, 14 came to the. What about the Shawnee Frog? He's kind of fun. A little too close. I feel like the last one I sold was 16, 17. Unicorn Bell. It's newer, but it's a unicorn. I'm gonna pass. These little bone china cats are adorable. Eight bucks. That's a good price. I've had ones like this that are dogs, and I want to say they sold for like 20 bucks. They've 
got a little bit of paint loss, but their faces are all there. Well, on the fence, kind of. I feel like it's a little predictable. They be a quick sell, but for some reason, I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm going to put them back. Maybe next time. Oh my gosh, that little dog's so cute. <laughs> So I put a few things in my booth at Black Rose, got a couple things. I didn't do the whole place. Um, there's a booth that opened at Weaver's that I really wanted to go to. So that's where I'm headed now. Okay, here it is. We definitely have a similar style. This is awesome. So many things I like. Edward Mobley. I actually have one of these right now. And this little pig mug. Oh my gosh, that is too cute. Four dollars. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and grab that. <laughs> it's spectacular. Just sold a couple of these. Um, Twelve dollars doesn't leave enough room for me to get excited about these tear bookends, though. Oh my gosh. Eighteen. Japan. They're older than I thought they were. Honestly, they almost look like they could be new. They're in such good condition. I'm gonna revisit those. Love this little trinket dish too. Now that's definitely newer. Yeah, it's new, but I really like it anyway. With the ladybug, more squeaks. Oh my gosh, and seahorses and poodle pins. Oh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> 24, I can't do that. Um, what? Six bucks? I'm taking this too. I love the little elephant. I'm gonna go grab a basket and come back. I see a lot of stuff in here I like. This is cute. Oh my gosh, this little bone china. $3, that's a really good deal. Um, I've had that one a few times recently though. Kinda like that shade of pink. Peach. So nervous, I'm gonna break something. I have such nervous energy. <laughs> Little skunk, he's adorable. I really love these poodle pins though. I actually have a couple like these on my coats that are cats. I'm gonna put those aside and I gotta grab these suit horses. $12 for the four. I'm definitely gonna take the seahorses. Seahorses are usually pretty collectible. This one's kind of speaking to me. It's kind of strange in the best way possible. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that too. Put that one back. All right, let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just about to touch everything. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's a newer piece, but it's kind of strange. It's a little six dollars now. That's a fair price for sure. But what is this? This definitely has my attention. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And it's in like perfect condition. New. Wow, it's like completely unused. Twelve dollars. That's a super fair price. It is kind of a weird. Um, Ship to shape though. Shape to ship. <laughs> Sugar and creamer with mushrooms. What? Stuff like this usually sells pretty quick. Uh, looks in good condition. Oh, dang. It's got some pretty gnarly hairlines on it. Yeah, I can't look past that. I'm gonna put this one back. This guy's pretty cute, but kind of an almost for me. I'm not completely obsessed with it. What is this? Oh, that's new. Oh my gosh, I love these little happy chip planners. I would totally get that if it didn't have that chip on the beak right there. What are these? Are these mice? I'm over it. <laughs> I love the color, but these are new. Definitely not my thing, but this. Tissue boxes and I haven't had 
the best relationship. I feel like I usually, they usually take a while, but I love the Hollywood Regency style of this. So for eight bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And then the snail, this is new. Yeah, definitely. But you gotta love snails. All right, and Dopey, this is, that is interesting. 16. Hmm. This jewelry box is so pretty. I'm gonna move these out of the way. I don't wanna knock them over. The lining is in like perfect condition too. $18, that's a really fair price. Um, it's a little too close for resale. It's probably about what I'd sell for too. This is pretty weird. <laughs> $4, all right, I'm gonna grab it. In the right frame, this would definitely be a cool piece. It's just like somebody's random drawing of a deer, but I love it. But I am gonna put it back and keep looking. All right, back to these. I'm, it's pretty rare to find deer bookends like this, and the flowers are all there, at least on this one. I gotta check the other, but I'm nervous all this stuff's gonna fall down. I gotta figure this out. What should I move there? These are definitely gonna be a pain to ship. Um, they're super fragile. $18 doesn't leave as much room as I'd like, but they're so spectacular that I kinda can't help myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them. Uh, I won't make that much on them when all is said and done, maybe a few bucks, but I think they're worth it. All right, let's see what else. I like the glass box, cut to clear. $12. What are these buttons? Are these Sirico? This is neat. Love the colors. Four bucks for this set. 70s, totally cool. Um, and they're usually like this like weird, awkward, large size when I see them and not in multicolor. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those for sure. Box purse. The paint's all there too. 20 bucks, that's not a bad price. Check this out. Hmm. I'm tempted. Let's see what the inside looks like. Yeah, it's in really good condition. Made in Japan. I could definitely make money on that. It's just, I'm not sure if I'm willing to front 20 bucks for it. I like these little framed flowers, paper, and that like kind of mustardy velvet background. It's definitely vintage, eight bucks. It's not a bad price. I feel like I'd probably sell this for like 14. Um, it's not like high profit. It's just kind of nice. I love anything with that convex glass, like bubble dome frame. Uh, I'm gonna pass actually. Little miniature glass hens on nest. Five bucks each. I really like this pink one. Five bucks. I don't usually get these, but for five bucks and the fact that it's pink, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this. I really love this stuffed bunny rabbit. It's also huge. $27? Yeah, twenty six fifty, And then 20%. She's about like 21. He's got a little bit of wear, um, but his face is in good condition, which is hard to find. But I do have one like this that's smaller that's been sitting, which surprised me. I'm really trying to justify it. I just don't think I can. Um, I have one that's in perfect condition that's been sitting and it's not like a high dollar item. So I gotta leave it. That's really nice. It's got like a big chunk missing out though. Dang. This frame is awesome. Oh, that is so pretty. I love this Victorian style. $7 and 20% off. I mean, gosh, the frame's definitely worth more than that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I love this doll. She's pretty. Ah, oh, 23. That's probably about what I'd get for her after fees. That's a shame, because she's pretty spectacular. 
I normally don't pick up figurines like this, but this one is too cute. 525. I've never seen one with the like leash, the chain leash, and she's got the little beret. <laughs> she's having a little Marilyn moment. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And then there's the single shaker. I love those deer, but those are definitely full retail. And then what's this fish? Oh dang, it's got a couple little chips on it. Can't do that. What's this? Hmm. I don't know, it feels like a lot of work right now. I'm gonna leave that one tucked in there. I like the lamb planter, nine bucks. I had one like it pretty recently. I like the concept, the concept of this candy dish, but there's something kind of off about it. Pop. And it's not pink enough. Well, that was a lot of damage in a little bit of time. I'm gonna head towards Frederick.